Hey everyone, today we're going to be seeing what would happen if you dropped a tiny little black hole onto Earth. So the other day when I was watching some videos, one video that got suggested to me on Facebook was somebody playing Grand Theft Auto. And they had a mod in Grand Theft Auto where Thanos was there and Thanos could make black holes appear. And one of the black holes, he makes it appear and everything starts getting sucked into the black hole. Cars fly into it and everything. So that got me thinking. What would happen if that were to actually occur on Earth? If somebody had a tiny little black hole and put it on Earth, what would it do to the Earth? So the size of the black hole that you see in this video game would be the size of black hole that would form if you took around 200 masses of Earths, so around 200 Earths, and compressed them into a black hole. But that's a little overkill. So let's, instead of taking a black hole that's that big, let's take an even smaller black hole. One that only has the mass of one Earth. So if we took the mass of the entire Earth and compressed it down into a black hole, of course all of the mass would be contained at one point in the center, but the Schwarzschild radius, meaning the radius that looks black around it, the radius in which light can no longer escape from it, that would be a radius of only around nine millimeters, so about that big. So if you took all the mass from the Earth, it would create a black hole about that big. But what would happen if we actually had a black hole this size and dropped it down to Earth? Well, let's see what would actually happen. It's probably not what you'd expect. Okay, let's see what this looks like dropping a black hole on Earth. So this is a nine millimeter size black hole. Three, two, one, and drop. So the first thing that's happening here is you have to remember that the black hole that's only this size has the same mass as the entire Earth. And so both of them are actually pulling on each other with the same strength. And so the black hole isn't just falling towards Earth, but it's actually pulling the Earth towards it. But because the black hole is a lot closer to the ground right here than the other side of the Earth, that means it can pull just large chunks off of the Earth towards it. And that's called spaghettification. It, due to the tidal forces, the strong gravity right near the black hole, it rips things apart. And so all of the mass that's right near it, as soon as you start dropping it, pulls the mass off the Earth and goes towards the black hole. but even all of the mass that starts getting pulled towards the tiny black hole doesn't actually go inside of it. And the reason is because, let's say it's falling towards the Earth and a bunch of mass is going towards it. The problem is there's a bunch of solid mass trying to get into a hole only about this size. And so what happens is that all of the mass tries to rush inside the black hole, the pressure increases greatly. Because it's a sphere, the mass has to get closer to it, but in order to get closer to it, it has to compress down because it's coming from a big radius and trying to go to a smaller radius. So before it's even inside the black hole, it has to squish together really tight. And at first that's fine. What happens is the material just gets denser and denser as it gets closer to the black hole. But eventually what happens is the nuclei of atoms get so close together that they can start to undergo nuclear reactions. And those nuclear reactions cause an outward pressure. Basically everything starts exploding outward in a nuclear reaction and pushing everything outward. So the black hole's trying to suck everything in and everything else is trying to explode outward because it got too close together. So first the Earth would get ripped apart by the black hole and then as that mass tried to go in the black hole, it would get too close together and cause a reaction that would cause everything to explode outward. And that explosion outward would push the Earth away from it. And so eventually everything would just explode in a giant nuclear explosion. But some of that mass would fall back to the black hole. But the problem is the black hole is tiny compared to the mass spread out around it. And so most likely it's going to miss the black hole. So it's just going to go towards it but start orbiting around it. Now the Earth when it was spinning has a lot of angular momentum. In fact it has so much angular momentum that if it were to be the size of a black hole, the stuff that's orbiting around the black hole, if it kept the same angular momentum, would be going faster than the speed of light. And that's not possible. So in fact, it's theoretically impossible for all of the mass that was on the Earth to go into that black hole. It would have to be exploded outward and only a little bit could go in it. So there's actually a limiting rate at which things can even enter the black hole because as they try to get towards it, the pressure increases so much that it wants to explode outward. So it kind of has to go through this frictional force as it's going into the black hole getting sucked in and it's not a very fast rate. And so we know that this black hole couldn't absorb the whole Earth inside of it because of the angular momentum. It would blow the Earth away and only a tiny amount of the Earth would actually end up inside the black hole. 
But one thing is sure that a tiny black hole this size dropped at the Earth would definitely destroy the Earth. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video's out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.